Hey everybody, uh, Omake here. I first want to start off by apologizing for not ending up doing the video log of KatsuCon. I really did intend to do it, but then that whole con ended up being like a really strange experience for me, so we did have to kind of pass on that. Um, I do have another con coming up soon in my Boston, and I hope to get, you know, my friends involved in getting me to make sure I start getting those vlogs done again like I used to do because I really do miss doing those and I'm really sad that I didn't end up doing it for Katsukon. Um, but I'm here today with something totally different. Um, I got my tax refunds back a little while ago and I used a lot of it for paying off some debt and for putting some stuff away in savings but I did use a little bit to get myself my first ever subscription box. Um, I chose Black Sheet Box which does um, cruelty free and really natural um, beauty skincare products uh, for the most part and they sent me I just got my first box in the mail for March um, I am not doing this unboxing thing totally appropriate for the first time around I did peek in it um, because I got so excited it's my first subscription box ever um, I like the idea of getting mail in the month mail every month um, so it comes in this cool little box fits in my mailbox um, so I did peek at what the contents are, but I did not take them out at all, so you are actually getting like my first impressions of what they look like, what they smell like, what they feel like, um, and I'm hoping to also move in to another space to actually like do a small test of the products and see like how they feel on my skin and what they do for me too, um, and add that on the end. So here we go with a black sheet box unboxing for March of 2017. The theme for this month was Ides of March. And I'll turn this around. This has like the list of all of the um, things that they have in it. And if you want, I suppose you can pause it and read the things. Do -do -do -do. That's long enough. Um, so let's see what I pull out first. This is the Cafe Con Leche Body Scrub, which is really cool. I really like, um, I usually get exfoliating scrubs for my face because it feels cleaner. Um, but this is, ooh, it smells like coffee, surprisingly. Um, it's supposed to be for improving circulation and reducing cellulite. I don't have a lot of cellulite, so I'm not really sure, like, how much use I'll actually get out of this, but, you know, we'll see, like, where it goes. This smells really good. It's got a lot of, they fill it up, like, right to the top. This is so full. I'm like scared to kind of stick my fingers in here. That smells kind of good. The more I smell it, I'm not really sure if I like the smell of it. Um, but it looks pretty simple. Scrub, rinse, repeat. So we'll try this out in a little bit on uh, some part of my body that I can show how it works. But it looks really good. So that should be exciting. We're gonna set that to the side. Um, the next thing that I'm pulling out of here. Oh, this is from the um the shop of the month. Atlanta Body Culinary. Um, this is the Organic Morning Joe Anti-Inflammatory Moisturizing Face Cream with Caffeine. They've got like a couple coffee things this month. Please focus. I don't know if it'll focus on this, especially with the light. Morning Joe. Um, so this looks, this is specifically for eyes, I guess, which is good because I do have some eye puffiness. I don't get enough sleep in my life, to be honest. Ooh, this smells really good. Um, and it looks whipped, it looks really soft. I'm really excited to try this out later. Um, it looks like you just kind of put it on. So that'll be easy to do after. 100% organic. All right, I've got two more items left in this box. Next one on top, it's a soap bar. This one is coconut vanilla soap. Um, the black dust is from, they've got like, this paper shredding in here for the packing, so it's not actually supposed to have the black dust on it. That's gonna go away, so it's a white soap bar. Coconut vanilla soap. Um, with goat's milk, shea butter, and essential oils. It smells like coconut. Um, so I'm not sure. This one's just supposed to be like a nice soap. So I'll try this on my arms later, I guess, when we're testing it. Making myself a little pile over here. Um, and one more thing in here, which is, when I read the description of it, I was really interested. Um, it's a crystal collagen gold powder eye mask. 
which is one of those ones that you actually like put on. Um, I've been really interested in the concept of mask recently, and when I've been looking them up, I keep seeing these eye mask things, which I didn't know were a thing until very recently. So this should be... Um, apparently it has actual gold in it, um, which is known to activate basal cells on the skin. So it's supposed to be an anti-aging thing, which I'm not super in need of these days, I don't feel, but, you know, we'll give it a try, or I'll offer it to... Um, Ian or something. So we'll see how that is. I'm not going to open it up and smell it right now because, like, this is just a one time thing, I guess. Um, but that should be really cool to try out. Um, so I'm going to move myself over to another room and start recording in there and we'll see how some of these things actually feel on my body. All right, so we are now in my bathroom. Um, I apologize for the not so great lighting situation. When I turn the light on, the vent automatically comes on. You wouldn't be able to hear my voice. Um, so this is probably not gonna work in the future. I had to do kind of a weird setup for this. Um, so for now, we're gonna get this going. I'll figure something out for next month. Uh, we are gonna start with the first thing that I took out. It's the Cafe Con Leche Body Scrub. Um, it said it's for cellulite, but I'm just gonna try it out on like my forearm or something just to see how it feels. Uh, so it says, just scrub, rinse, and repeat. Um, I usually do these on wet skin, so I'm gonna get my arm a little wet first, I guess. So it's coming out, oh, it's coming out like pretty easy. Just kinda dig my finger in there and just get a little finger full. Scrub it in. Um, and I'm actually immediately getting a little bit of redness in here. Um, I don't believe that I have any allergies to any of the ingredients. I'll have to double check. Um, um, I've got some redness on my skin just from like really quick scrubbing it. Um, this is a sensitive part of my skin, obviously. Um, so somewhere that you may have cellulite might not be. Ooh, it feels pretty good though <laughs> to my other fingers and not like my skin itself, which is a little irritated right now. It feels pretty good um, now that it's come off and probably it will fade. It doesn't look bumpy or anything, just a little rashy. So I'm wondering if I actually do have minor allergy to one of the things in here um but i've been exposed it's turbinado sugar finely ground oatmeal coconut oil almond oil essential oils i've been exposed to all these things before unless one of the unnamed essential oils is something that i'm not aware of um so i'd be surprised i think it's just that it's a little rough on my wrist um but my skin feels really good right after using it, it feels really soft so I'm hoping that if I try it on another part of my body, it won't have that sort of reaction. Um, so we're going to move on from that one. The next one that I had pulled out was the Morning Joe, the face cream with the caffeine that's supposed to go under your eyes. Um, so this doesn't seem to need any sort of wetting or anything. It just says to put a small amount under the eyes in the morning for relief of puffiness. Um, so this one did smell pretty good. I'm just going to do a little bit under one eye right now. I don't know how fast I expect this to go. It's just kind of a bit on one of my fingers. So I don't know if this is intended to be fast acting or if it's supposed to be something, you know, you apply it every day and over time you see a result. It doesn't give that much of a description, but it feels nice and cool. That goes on pretty easy, just pats right in, I guess. Um, and I guess we'll see in a few minutes if that ends up having some sort of result. Um, but the smell is pretty good. It feels nice and cool. It's kind of like using an aftershave but under my eye. That's the feeling that I'm getting, um, which is interesting. Um, and so the we're going to move on to the last thing. We've got the coconut vanilla soap. Um, I'm going to do this on my opposite arm. The redness from the scrub is already starting to fade, by the way. It's kind of blending back in, so I'm pretty sure it was from the scrub. So I'm going to get the soap a little wet on the side so I can lather. Lather, lather, lather. Um... Okay, yeah, it's lathering up decently. It's not making like bubbles, but I'm sure if you use like another way to lather it. That's nice. All right, so my skin obviously feels clean. So I have the scrub on this side. Um, I can feel like a little bit of the residue of the scrub on this side, but overall my skin feels softer. This side, I mean, that smells pretty good and my skin is clean. So there's nothing supposed to be, it doesn't say anything about any special moisturizers or skin softeners or anything. Um, so I'm not sure it's supposed to be anything other than a nice smelling soap, which it is. So I'm looking forward to using that one. Um, I am not going to test those eye masks because those are a single use item. Um, I don't want to 
I'm not prepared <laughs> to do that on a camera right now. Um, but I will either try them at some point or pass them off to somebody who wants them more and have them let me know how those go so I can put in kind of my impression of those as well. Um, so let me shut all this off and move back in for a wrap up sort of thing. Alright, so thank you everybody for joining me for my first ever subscription crate unboxing um, from Black Sheep Box. I did find the Black Sheep Box through Crate Joy, uh, just kind of browsing until I found something I liked. Just, I'm really excited about getting another one next month and doing another one of these next month. I will figure out a better setup for actually testing the products so that I don't have to do it in the odd space of my bathroom. Uh, maybe bring like a couple bowls in here for washing and rinsing. Um, so I'll see some of you for convention vlogs in the future, some of you I will see for the next Black Sheet Box unboxing. Uh, until then, have a good time.